Borida, good morning. It's Jo from Talk and Play. As it's Christmas, I thought I'd share with you an activity to make some Christmas tree decorations. They're made from cinnamon and apple sauce, so they smell wonderful. And I'm going to show you what you need. So first of all, I've got a bowl and a spoon for mixing. Then I've got a plate to save my creations on afterwards, as well as a rolling pin, a butter knife to help ease up your creations from the table, a pencil, some cookie cutters or Christmas ones, some ribbon. If you don't have real ribbon, you can use the Christmas ribbon that you get um, for parcels. It works just as nicely. And don't forget the apple sauce. Now for mine, I've gone for the smooth apple sauce, but if you can't get it, it's quite easy to blend down. Um, it'll work just as well. And I've gone for two um, tubes, glass tubes of ground cinnamon. Now I've gone for two, and um, that's plenty for two children to share. Um, so what have I done? Well, I've added the two tubes of cinnamon to my bowl, and then I've added 10 dessert spoons full of apple sauce. So what you're looking for here, as you can see, is like making pastry. Um, it's like a sort of bread crumb consistency, but mine is a little bit wetter. You can see it's just sort of starting to form little balls there. What you do then, after you've put lots of pressure on with your spoon to get it to this stage, is you get your hands in. So it can be quite messy, prepare yourself for that. Um, and then just bring all of the dough together. Now, if you apply lots of pressure as you're pushing the ball together, it'll help to melt the apple sauce a little bit further into the cinnamon, which just makes it a little bit more pliable. So you can see I've got my ball of dough there. Um, now I'm going to roll it out. Now, I like to roll mine out not too thickly because the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry, okay? So um, I'm going to roll mine out to about an inch thick. You can do it thicker, it doesn't matter, it'll just take longer to dry. So nearly there with mine. Now once you've got the thickness you need, you can start having fun. Now, as with Play-Doh, this can offer lots of benefits. It develops fine motor skills, encourages creativity, enhances hand-eye coordination and also helps to uh, um, improve social skills. So enjoy this time. Now, I'm going to cut out a Christmas tree. Just going to add some pressure to my cutters here. Oh, well done. And then I'm going to just make a gingerbread man as well, I think. So just cut more there. Now, I'll just peel the cinnamon dough from around my Christmas tree and gingerbread man and put it left over in the bowl. And then you're going to need the butter knife I was talking about earlier, just to help ease the creations up off the table. There you go, my gingerbread man. And my Christmas tree. There we go. So you can see they're quite nice, aren't they? And they're just about an inch thick. So I'm going to put them on my plate. Now, you're going to need the pencil at this stage because if you let these um, shapes dry before you try to make a hole in them, you won't get a hole through them. It's too late. Um, so I try to do it now. So just add, you may, may need to help the children with this a little bit. Just Add a little bit of pressure to the pencil and just wiggling it around in a circular position just to get a nice big hole big enough to get your ribbon through and for little hands to thread. There we go, I've made my holes so you can see them there and two I made earlier. Now you can decorate them at this um, once they dry if you want to after about two to three days. Um, if you've got PVA glue and glitter, you can decorate them with that. Or I know you can get the glitter glues in tubes as well, so you can have some fun with those. Um, I personally just like to have mine on the tree as they are, just because they smell so beautiful anyway. And I think they just look really effective. So there's one on a string later. 
and you can see it's just nice and clean but it smells absolutely wonderful on the tree and if you've got quite a few of them the whole house smells wonderful now these are perfect decorations because the one I've just shown you here, um, I actually made about three years ago. And as long as you put them in a Tupperware container after each um, Christmas, then they will save for the next year and they will smell just as good as you've, as you've just made them. I hope you've enjoyed this activity and have a lovely Christmas. The Dalek Lawen.